Hello and welcome. I am Saffron from saffrondominesis.com and we're on to week four of our parenting month and this week's video is about EFT for when you are feeling judged by other people. Um, now previously, not in our parenting month but in a, another video, we've talked about EFT for when you care too much about what other people think. Um, so if you find this one helpful you might also want to seek that one out and see um, see what you get from that. Um, so in our parenting, more so than anything else, um, we can feel really judged by other people. A lot of people have their own idea of the right way to parent, of how it should be done and um, they are very happy to let everybody know about that and to say um, this is what you should be doing and have you thought about this and um, and to, to just look at you in an unpleasant way um, if you're out and about. One of, the, um, one of the areas where this happens a lot is in feeding your children. Um, you can get looks for breastfeeding, you can get looks for bottle feeding, whichever one you choose there will be someone who judges you and if you're really susceptible to that kind of thing, if you're really self-conscious of, of that kind of thing then it can be very very upsetting um, so let's jump into some tapping about that and I'm not going to be specific to breastfeeding or bottle feeding um, on this um, I'm going to try and keep it general because it also applies to all kinds of other decisions um, personally I've never had any judgement for home educating but I know many of our friends have had people um, criticise them, not, you know, maybe criticise them, people that they don't know, strangers, because as a home educator you are visible, you're out in the day when the other kids are at school with your kids and people will question that sometimes and if they're not happy with it they tend to let you know even though it is not anything to do with them. Um, Things like raising your children vegetarian you can be judged for, um, I have had that when I was, when mine were younger, um, yeah, just anything really, any parenting decision that you make, there will be someone that doesn't like it and is happy to tell you, so um, we're going to jump in and do some tapping about that, so we'll begin on the karate chop point and just copy off what I am doing and um, repeat after me and if you would like to learn more precisely how to do tapping then feel free to check out the YouTube channel and um, our how to do EFT video. So let's start on the karate chop point. So even though I'm feeling really judged about the way that I've chosen to do my parenting, that's okay. I accept that I feel that way and I love and accept myself. Even though I feel like people are judging me for the way that I've chosen to take care of my children, that's okay. I accept that I feel that way and I love and accept myself. Even though I feel like the world is watching and waiting for me to get it wrong, that's okay. I love and accept myself exactly as I am. And let's move on to the eyebrow. I feel really judged and it's really upsetting. I feel like there's one right answer and I don't know what it is. I feel like all of these people judging me have their own ideas about what I should be doing and I don't know how I could please them. I'm feeling really judged. And I'm feeling really watched. I feel like there's so much judgement falling on me at the moment. 
and I don't really know how to cope with that. I'm finding it really upsetting. But I'm just trying to do the best for my child. It feels really hard to do my best. When there are so many people being so critical of me. So many people wanting to impose their own views. It's so difficult. I can't get it right in their eyes. They're just waiting for me to get it wrong. But I wonder if I could let that go. I wonder if I could bring my focus back to me and my child. I wonder if I could remind myself for my re of my reasons. For making the parenting decisions that I've made. Do those decisions still feel right? And if they do, then why worry about other people? It can be really hard feeling all of this judgement. But every time I feel it, I choose to bring myself back to what matters, to myself and my child, to what we need, and to what's right for us. I choose to let go of this judgement. Deep breath. And that can be really hard. It can be really hard if it's something that you face every day. And I'm going to talk about breastfeeding again because that can be something. Um, I remember when my eldest was little it would affect my decision whether or not to leave the house. I wouldn't go out because I knew that I would have to feed him or I wouldn't go out for long because I knew that I would have to feed him and people would look at me and I didn't like that at all. Um, as my kids have got older and when my second child was born um, I had developed a complete disregard for any of those judgments but um, it's not necessarily an easy thing to do um, and to let go of, of those judgments can be really difficult so give yourself time be kind to yourself um, and if it helps you sometimes researching the decisions that you've made which I'm sure you have when you made them um, but having maybe even a little set of notes to take with you I made this decision because of this this and this if statistics help you to feel solid in your decision to feel justified in your decision not that you have to justify your decision to anybody ever I'm talking about how it makes you feel to have that with you um, so um, if you want to take statistics about how amazing homemade kids are when you take homemade kids out with you that you can just throw at people then that helps but I think what actually helps the most in terms of preventing people from making these judgments is just feeling really really confident in them just um, knowing that you're right and I think when your decision comes from intuition and that inner knowing that you have made the right decision for you and your family, um, you've got that certainty. And personally, I believe that this is why I don't get the criticism for home educating, because when people ask about it, I just say, it like, yeah, of course we home educate because it's the right thing to do. And I won't go into that, I don't talk about it or um, I'll just say, oh, they're home educated, so people will be, oh, you're not at school today. Oh, they're home educated and people are like, oh, okay, that's nice. And sometimes people say, oh, that's great. Or I know someone who's done that. Or very occasionally it'll be someone saying, I'd really like to do that and can we get in contact? Or I have a friend who would like to do that and can we get in contact? Um, so yes, use this tapping to boost your confidence in your own decisions. 
um, figure out what else boosts your confidence and makes you feel better um, and bring yourself back to the reasons that you made your decision and what you know is right for you and your child and let me know if this has been helpful um, like and share the video if it has been um, pop in tomorrow evening for the live video and I look forward to hearing how you got on. Bye-bye.